Hey guys, welcome back to Dino Domain. Today's video, I am going to be doing the most in-depth guide for this year's era expansion, including information about the upcoming animals, the new skins that are going to drop, possible remodels, how much DNA you're going to need for this year's era expansion, and how to actually get this DNA. I'll be having multiple DNA guides in this video as well how to prepare for the mini games and most importantly how to get the previous year era expansion playables now before we get straight into this guide i'm very excited to announce my youtube membership now if you want to support me and join this membership you just go on my channel page and click join it will cost 2.5 usd but when you join you're going to have extremely early access to some of the most broken DNA guides before I publicly release these videos. Now, I don't want to encourage you guys to spend your money, keep it if anything, but if you want to support me directly, this is how you can do it. Anyways, let's get straight to this guide. Now with this year's 2023 era expansion, we have four animals and four brand new skins to go with them. Number one being the Megatherium which as well will be launching with a skin called the Great Tunneler. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this Megatherium. But let's get into the Megatherium's abilities that have been confirmed. So the Megatherium is going to have 530 health, 27 damage, 30 armor, 50 oxygen, and 2900 stamina. It's going to have three abilities, Lazy, which is its passive, Rocky Defense, and Mossy Depletion. Feel free to pause or rewatch if you want to go in and see the exact details of these abilities, but this is what has been confirmed for the Megatherium. Now let's go on to the second animal, the Gigantopithecus. Now this is just a wee look at the animations. But let's get into its skin. The Gigantopithecus is going to be having a silverback gorilla as its skin, which I think is personally quite awesome. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. But I think it's clear to say the Gigantopithecus is the fan favorite. Now when it comes to the Gigantopithecus and its stats, it is gonna have 390 HP, 24 damage, 10 armor, 10 oxygen and 3700 stamina. It's able to climb trees and sinks. Now it has three abilities, jungle beats, simian smash and monkey bars. Feel free to once again pause the video to see the full description of these abilities. Now for the third era expansion animal, we have the woolly rhino. And the skin that will be coming with this animal is the Basin Beast Woolly Rhinoceros. Now I was able to find the statistics for the Woolly Rhinoceros and it's pretty damn good. The Woolly Rhino is going to have 460 HP, 32 damage, 30 armor, 10 oxygen and 3500 stamina. It's going to have three abilities, Rocket Crash, Flock Heal, and Terror Wave. Me personally, I am most excited for the Woolly Rhino. I think it's going to be a better Mammoth and Hippopotamus in Dinosaur Arcade. Now let's go straight into the fourth and final animal and skin, which is the Pulmonar Scorpius, and it as well has this skin to follow it, which is called the Metalwork Brutalizer. Now me personally, I think this is the best skin out of all four of them. And it's gonna be damn expensive. Now with that said, let's get straight into my predictions for how much DNA you'll need for this year's era expansion. Now with Chicken recently saying in one of his updates, he wants to make skins more of a goal to obtain. Pretty much saying he wants to make skins more expensive. And we saw that with the Draconic Therizinosaurus, which was 320,000 DNA. 
So realistically speaking, you'll need 1.2 million DNA to get all of this year's era expansion skins, which averages out at about 300,000 DNA per each skin. Now, Unhatched Games has been really unpredictable with skin prices, and they've risen a lot. We saw this with the Draconic Therizino, we saw this with the Caveman update in Dinosaur Simulator. Everything, all of a sudden, is expensive. Don't panic though, as later in the video I'm going to be doing the best DNA guide, going in depth on all the steps you need to be making around 500,000 DNA per hour so you'll be fully prepared for this year's area expansion. Now let's get straight into the cost for the animals, all four of them. Now when comparing to previous area expansions, they usually cost about 900,000 DNA to get all four animals, but considering this year has much more exciting animals and much larger animals, I would say you need about 1 million DNA to get all four of them. And this is including that you've gotten all the fossils to reduce the price. Making this year's area expansion a grand total of 2.2 million DNA. Now let's get straight into the DNA guide on how you can actually get 2.2 million. Which is swim fruits. Now this guide can get you 400 to 500 thousand DNA an hour. I recommend you get the underwater critter game pass which is... 300 robux but if you can't afford this you can go to other dinosaurs such as the baryonyx the spinosaurus they all do the job perfectly so when you've spawned in no matter where it is on the map you want to head all the way down to the great lake as this is going to be the farming area for these swim fruits. Now when you're here you want to go through these little green seaweed patches and they spawn swim fruit. They have a chance. Swim fruit are more uncommon than usual since I released that DNA guide video. However you can still get two to five swim fruit per session. You just want to circle around this entire lake. Now let me get into the vital point this is the most important part that makes this dna guide stand out from everything else so after you've searched the whole entire great lake you want to head to servers make sure you refresh and you want to join the lowest populated server in this case it's 13 out of 20. As soon as you join it and you spawn back the dinosaur that you were previously in, for me it was the leopard oats, you will spawn right where you were last time and all of the swim fruits would have respawned and they're fresh. You just want to hop server to server to server to server to server and hope you find swim fruits. Now I hope that DNA guide was very useful. But that isn't the only thing you need for this year's era expansion. You'll need era expansion keys to actually play the mini games to actually unlock the era expansion playables or the animals. Now after harvesting a meteor they can spawn one to three keys and sometimes they can spawn none. But I really recommend you guys get 50 to 75 era expansion keys for this year's era expansion. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I have given enough information, enough guides to help you guys on your way to get everything in this year's era expansion. All I ask, subscribe, join the team and leave a massive like and just share the video. Let's try help everyone out here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I think it covers everything, I showed you guys the animals, the skins, the best DNA guide, how to get error expansion keys, the new abilities for these new error expansion creatures, I think I've done enough to help you guys.
and that's all I try to do for you guys. You guys mean the most to me. And if you aren't subscribed around here, make sure you just smash that subscribe button. Join the team. We're rising to the top. And we'll get there one day. But yeah, I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. It truly means the world. And I have one last thing. If you are still watching, this is going to be the new series that I'm going to release. Hey guys, I proudly present to you Dino Eater. An original series where dinosaurs will be rated from 0 to 100%. In today's video of Dino Meter, we'll be looking at...